Welcome to the Wear, Wag, Repeat podcast. I'm Tori Mystic, here with my dogs, Lucy and Bert. Together, we're interviewing cool, creative women entrepreneurs in the pet industry. Do you dream of working alongside your dog? Then sit, stay, and listen to the latest episode to find the inspiration and resources that will help you grow your own dog-inspired business. Today, I'm serving up another solo episode. I know that you guys love hearing about the progress of the Wear, Wag, Repeat shop. Oh, that was just Bert shaking his ears. You might have heard that. <laughs> but that is life as a dog mom entrepreneur. I always have my doggies by my side. So Bert is sitting right next to me, and he's very interested in today's topic. I am talking about how to set up a rewards program for your online shop. Now, this could apply to people who sell dog things, dog accessories, bandanas. It could apply to you if you sell any kind of dog treats or food. It could totally also apply to you if you provide a service like dog walking or grooming or something like that. There are so many ways that you can reward your customers and turn them into really dedicated super fans of yours and keep them coming back again and again. You know how it is when you have that like subway punch card (laughs) and you just want to get that 10th punch so you can get your free sandwich. You'll go to any length to get that free sandwich. So that's what we want to do to your customers is get them really excited about checking off all their boxes and supporting you at the same time while they earn some fun rewards for themselves. So um, one of the best ways to just dive into this topic, one of the best ways to market your online store and your business in person as well is to have customers who already love you singing your praises to their friends. In this episode, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a rewards program for your online shop. I'll also cover various apps that you can use to build it. There are tons of free options as well as some paid ones and things to consider when structuring your program. Plus, I'm going to talk about how to get the word out about your rewards program so that people actually sign up and do it. So the first thing I want to cover is what is the difference between an ambassador program and a rewards program? So with an ambassador program, that oftentimes is a synonym for an affiliate program where you have people that are promoting your goods and sharing some kind of a unique discount code or promo code or something like that and they're either earning a commission or they're earning some kind of points somehow in your system. Um, And that can be set up pretty easily behind the scenes by using something as simple as coupon codes already in Shopify, and that's even on the most basic Shopify plan, you can do coupon codes. So if you just have a handful of top customers, consider reaching out and asking them if they would like to be an ambassador. If it's just a few people like that, just like, I don't know, 5 to 10 or 15 even, it's easy to keep track of what they're doing and how many times their code is being used through the coupon code interface in Shopify, and then you can reward them accordingly. For example, um, for every five customers they send you who actually check out and make a purchase, You could email them a gift card or um, a $25 store credit or send them a surprise in the mail or, you know, whatever. Use your creativity. You could do whatever you want to do to reward them and make it worthwhile for them to share that link to everyone they know. For more info on setting up an ambassador program like that, you want to check out episode 38. I interviewed Kelsey of Barkland Grace and she has a huge ambassador program. She's been super, super successful. So I don't think that she keeps track of it using coupon codes because she has like 5,000 ambassadors or something like that. So she has a lot, a lot more to keep track of. So check that out. I think she might even mention what app she uses to manage that program. We go into a lot of detail in that episode. So again, that's episode 38. If you want to go back and find that either in your podcast player, or if you go to wherewagrepeat.com slash podcast, you can find every episode in there. So if you plan on having a lot of affiliates, you're going to want to sign up for some kind of an app. I think the one that Kelsey uses is Refersion. There's another one called Tap Affiliate. 
Those are both paid, but they offer a ton of functionality. So now that we've kind of gotten all that ambassador affiliate talk out of the way, let's let's talk about what we're actually here to discuss, which is a rewards program. So a rewards program is different than that. It's more about rewarding people who are shopping with you, letting them get to certain milestones to accumulate points in some way, and then they can redeem those points for something the reward, whatever it is. So that's kind of the concept behind a rewards program. What I have found, and I'll I'll get into it a little bit later in this discussion, is that some rewards program platforms actually also offer a referral program, which is kind of similar. It's just a very pared down version of what I was just talking about with the ambassadors. So we'll get into that um, in a little bit. So what are the basics of setting up a rewards program. When I first started looking into this, that is the exact question that I Googled. And the results that came back were that you want to make it simple. You remember that acronym from school, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid? Well, that is exactly what you want to do with your rewards program. Don't make it so complicated that people have to like jump through hoops and like do long division to figure out how they're earning their points. Be really, really simple. You know, make make the points and the rewards all in denominations of, you know, five or two or whatever you want to do to make it really easy to understand and make it really, really clear exactly what people need to do to earn their points and then what kind of rewards they can redeem those for. So you also want to make it easy to earn the points or rewards. If the only rewards level that someone can achieve would take them like a year to reach, then most people are going to be discouraged very quickly and they're going to lose interest in your program. So I know that, um, you know, we all think that everything in our shops is so valuable and precious and we have invested our own precious money in buying this inventory or making these products ourselves or whatever it is that you're selling. And it can be kind of painful to think that you're going to be giving things away to people for free. But just make sure that you're structuring your program in a way that, you know, maybe they earn 10 points and they get a free sticker from you. Maybe they earn 25 points and they get free shipping, which should cost you $5 or less, depending on what they've ordered. Hopefully it's nothing too heavy (laughs) and it's not going to like Bali. (laughs) Again, you could be really clear with the stipulations of of what you're going to offer people. You could say, you know, in the fine print, free shipping up to... $8 or whatever you want to say, but make it so that people can actually achieve their rewards. So here's kind of how I, how I broke it down and thought about mine. I think it's a really good strategy to look at what your average order value is. So I know that in my store, I've got a lot of little things like little wish bracelets and stickers and patches that are all like six or $7. And then I've got a lot of shirts that are $32. And then I have some higher price items, like some really nice leashes and some jewelry that might be a little bit more. And I think that's it. (laughs) But I know for a fact through my Shopify analytics that my average order value is around $35. So knowing that, I based my rewards program around that. I thought about what kind of rewards could someone unlock after making two average purchases. So maybe you want to set the reward a little bit higher than that so that the customer is encouraged to add like one extra small thing to their cart. I know that I've been in that situation a lot of times on on websites where it's like you're $2 away from free shipping. So you go find some little $5 thing and add it to your cart. And there's a reason why all of those huge businesses do that because it's really smart. (laughs) So we can kind of learn from what they're doing and apply that to our small businesses. But the advantage of a small business is you have such a personal connection with your customers. So that'll take you so far. And I think that you can be really real and be very transparent with your customers about how they're going to earn these points and what kind of awesome stuff they're going to get out of it. Sorry to interrupt the interview, but I would love to see what you're doing while you catch up with the Wear Wag Repeat podcast. 
Take a screenshot of this episode in your podcast player or snap a selfie with your earbuds in. Bonus points if it's on a dog walk and share it to your Instagram stories tagging me at tmystic. I'll keep an eye out for mentions and I would love to give you a shout out from my own account. Okay, now back to the episode. In my program, I found a really great free app that I can use to manage my rewards program. So if your store is set up through Shopify, as I set mine up, and there's other episodes of the podcast that talk about how I set it up and then like six months into it, like the update and all that kind of stuff. So you can learn all about that there. But if you also have Shopify, then you have a lot of options for apps that you can use. I decided to use Smile. And if you want to check it out, I think it's smile.io is their website. But I actually saw a lot of other small businesses using this on their site recently, which is how I found out about it. Because they're also using the free version. So it says smile at the bottom of it. Um, And it was so easy to set up. And for the basic services that were totally adequate for me to start out with, it is free. So if you want to add like a VIP program or customize, you know, really customize the look or add your logo to the program or anything like that you have to pay. And I think it starts at like $40 a month or something like that. So that might make sense for you if you're doing a lot of revenue. But for me, I wanted to try it out basic and free and like see how it goes from there. A couple other apps that I've heard really good things about, but I haven't tried out myself yet are Swell and Loyalty Lion. And those both have free plans available as well as paid ones that have more features. What I really like about Smile is that I can give people points for following me on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, It's not just based around purchases and things like that. But when people sign up for the rewards program, they automatically get points. And I decided to make it 10 points a piece. They get 10 points for following me on Facebook and 10 points for following me on Instagram. When they just sign up for the program, they automatically get 25 points in my program. And you can adjust the points to be whatever you want. And then it also will keep track of what they're buying. And I set mine up to give one point for every $1 $1 spent. Another way to earn points is to reward people on their birthday. So I set mine up so that on people's birthdays, they automatically get, I think I made it 25, maybe 50 points, something like that. I wanted to give them a nice, um, a nice reward, a nice little birthday present, if you will. And so that talking again about like calculating all of this based off of my average order of being $35, I calculated, you know, if someone were to like me on Facebook and Instagram, that's automatically 20 points. If they sign up for the program, that's automatically 25 points. So we're already at 45. If they make a purchase that's around $35, let's see, that takes us to 50. That's 70 points already. And then people who are existing customers in my program, I or in, in my shop, people who've already shopped with me over the past nine months, I started them out with a free 25 points just to thank them for being early supporters of me. So those people would already have 95 points. And I think I set up the rewards program so that at 50 points, you get free shipping. At 100 points, you get a $10 gift card to the store, $10 off your purchase. So can you kind of understand like how I set this up? I wanted it to make it easy so that people could actually earn the rewards and actually redeem the rewards because that's what's going to make them keep coming back and like feel really positive and really, really good about the experience. So you can do whatever you want, but just to make a little recommendation, like the one do- one point for every $1 spent, that's what a lot of other big brands, like I think that's what Sephora does, other you know rewards programs at big national brands. And it's not that you have to follow the lead of what these national brands are doing, but it's a formula that customers are accustomed to, they're comfortable with, consumers are familiar with the concept of earning points in association with dollars spent. So I think it makes a lot of sense to add it to your store in that manner. Okay, now, um, sorry that I'm kind of blowing through this, but I get excited talking about marketing and I start to talk really fast. (laughs) 
So if you've set up your rewards program, you are going to want to tell people about it. So how how exactly are you going to do that? How do you let people know about your rewards program and actually get them to sign up? Because if they don't sign up, then it's not going to do you any good, right? So to put it really simply, you have to tell them about it. I know that sounds so obvious, but it's amazing to me how many brands don't actually tell people what it is that they sell or what they do enough. Um, They might talk about it here and there, post once a week or something like that. You got to really hammer it into people. That is one of the 101 lessons of marketing is that you need to tell people about things multiple times. They're not always going to take action the first time you tell them about it. So I know that I'm giving this recommendation, but I'm totally guilty of this too. I really don't promote my own products enough. So I need to talk the talk and walk the walk. Um, And with this rewards program, I think I'm off to a good start because um, here's sort of my strategy that I am using that I think is going to be really effective. So it's really important to talk about your rewards program in emails, in social media posts, Instagram stories, in conversation with customers in person, and also on your actual website. So one thing that I did was I set up a page all about the rewards program. I called it the WWR pack, the wear, wag, repeat pack. And in the program through smile, I was able to customize the name of my points program. And so whenever you earn points, you're earning WAG points. Um, And I encourage my WAG, or I'm sorry, my WWR pack, Wear WAG Repeat pack. (laughs) Swear it's a lot easier reading it on the internet. Wear WAG Repeat is a hard name to say out loud, Um, but it, it comes across well when you're reading it. So if you're in the Wear WAG Repeat pack, Not only are you part of this whole rewards program, but I, on this page of my website, I also describe how you can be part of the online community by using hashtag WWRPAC on all of your posts. So that's sort of encouraging my rewards program members to kind of become little ambassadors in their own right and just kind of become part of an online community where we can all obsess about our dogs and cute stuff and fun photos and all that kind of stuff. So um, that site li- or that page lives on the Shopify site in the Wear Wag Repeat shop. And then I also put a link in the footer menu of my site to talk more about that program. Now, another thing you could do is set up banner ads throughout your site telling people to join the rewards program. That's another thing that I think a lot of brands and bloggers miss out on is promoting themselves with banner ads. I know that on this podcast, I put ads like for my own things <laughs> in the podcast. And why not? I have you guys all listening to this here. And in lieu of advertising for other people, why not promote the things that I'm already selling myself? Or, you know, try to get you to post on Instagram that you're listening to this show, which P.S. Um, have you done that yet? <laughs> Anyhow, you can do the same thing about your rewards program. So put ads for your rewards program in other places on your site. Talk about it in your social media posts as frequently as you would a product that you're selling or a sponsored content that you're producing or something like that. How about mentioning your rewards program in product descriptions on the individual product pages? Tell people how many points they would earn when they buy that item and it might incentivize them to join the program because they know they'll unlock free shipping or something like that. Another thing I mentioned earlier when I set up my rewards program, I gave points to my existing customers. So my shop has been open for about nine months now and everyone who bought in that time period, I went to Shopify and I set up a special tag for them. And then I went into Smile and I gave them each 25 points to thank them for being my early supporters. Then I went into ConvertKit, that's the service I use to do my email blasts, and I sent an email out to all of those people telling them about the new program. This was a really great way to thank them for their support so far and also get them to click through to the site 
to see any new merchandise or updates that I've made to the store. Um, some of those people bought from me at the very, very beginning and haven't returned yet. Um, so this was a really great excuse to kind of put a little bug in their ear to check out the Wear Wag Repeat shop. Really excited. This program just launched last week. I would be a hypocrite if I didn't tell you to go on and sign up to be part of my rewards program. Um, and even if you're just curious, you can sign up to just see how I set it up and what the interface is like. The best way to figure out what app you're going to want to use is to test them out on other people's sites so you can see what the customer experience is like. So I hope that you are inspired to check all this out and, and maybe even set up a rewards program of some kind kind in your business. So today was all about online shops, but there's no reason why you cannot apply this to an in-person program or even a service like dog walking or grooming or something like that. So um, that is it for today. Of course, you guys can always head over to wear wag repeat Dot com and follow me over on Instagram at tmystic. If you have any questions, just DM me and I will reply to you ASAP. Thank you for listening to the Wear Wag Repeat podcast. You can fetch show notes at wearwagrepeat.com. If you like what you hear, please hit subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And until next time, we'll see you around the dog park.